we will remind you that as an emissary of love with earth beneath you and the akash above you flowing always with love you may access all the information you need by visiting with us by looking into your memories of self or by connecting with earth again we tell you meditate with the trees for their roots tap in and know all you may meditate with the crystals they are well connected and much energy flies through them or you may Go back to your beginning and trace your steps from creation to now and beyond. These are all elements that you may open up, meditate, and receive frequencies and epiphanies memories and dreams through question yes when we break off from source from love to become an entity if we came from another planetary system star system prior to that does that mean that when we move to earth life that we go back to source and merge with source before breaking off to become the soul that we are today? This is a very interesting question. Certainly there are those who return to source. When you return into source, your time is complete you will not return as that soul, that spark. There are those who will return to the cone, but this is more to say hello to the young sparks, inspire them, give presentations, or to be an emissary. But generally, you do not return to the cone until it is your time for your final return or for the purpose of remembering the love of inspiring the sparks you generally do not go much beyond the edge of the cone unless you really need to feel what it's like to be pure and freshly born. In meditation, you may return to the inside to be one with love, for you are anchored, your awareness is anchored in your body here, so you will not actually return. This really is a focused meditation so do not be distressed if you try several times before you get in there or do not be distressed if you feel you are in there but you realize it is your imaginings for what is greater than to imagine the source of pure love practice helps with that but you are asking for your life cycle. You do not need to return to the cone when you go from one soul family or collective to another. You generally go straight from one to another. Okay. Thank you. Yes, we gave a convoluted response for your pure question. We hope we did not confuse with too much answer, but we could not resist. We were intrigued with all of the 
options that lay out there. Thank you. Are there more questions? Yes. Um, have the librarians ever incarnated into human form? It's a yes. two-prong question. What is your prong two? The, the second part is, so they have incarnated into human form, so they have an understanding of the human emotion of love. With that, is that universal through all beings, or is it just a human emotion? This is wonderful questions. We are excited. All beings were born from love, but not all beings live with love. This is a very exciting question you ask, for certainly we do not necessarily live with love as you conceive it, for we are very intellectual and energetic, so we do not feel the need for emotions in our daily life, in our chores and activities. We are focused on research and documentations and plannings and energy grids. We are excited. We are Focus, we are curious, but love is not part of our daily experience. So many within our collective have fallen away from the habit of feeling love. Love has become a foreign element to them. They have evolved away from it. We do enjoy incarnating in many different ways. Certainly any librarian of a human library revels at the opportunity to incarnate as a human, just as the librarians of the angelic library, of the Zed library, of the demon library, enjoy incarnating as one of those that we spend our time scribing. When we librarians incarnate, you can imagine we've spent much time researching. We like to, as you say, cram as much experience in this short time as we can. So we often go a bit wild or quite mad because we want so much experience. That being said, it is very rare for a librarian to incarnate just for the purpose of it. That is not something we are particularly capable of doing. When we incarnate, it is in accordance, soul contract with a human life so that we have an anchor into earth to keep us somewhat grounded we are there because a human needs a librarian to help them with a necessary element of their life we are there as support but while there we tell you we will generally go quite wild when not honoring the contract of that human The librarians who oversee libraries of other species, beings, dimensions that delve in feelings other than love, they're connected with, imprinted with the emotional and intellectual state of the, that group. All beings were born of love. Not all beings stay with love. 
this is why beings like angels are so special for they stay always in love unless they fall away from love then they have dark distressing times until eventually they remember love and return to their community having said this it does not matter whom you are in the core of your soul is always the spark of your first moment of life so we each of us have a spark of love within us it does not matter if you are where you are what you are this spark is the battery that powers you you may choose to deny it for your path of evolution eventually every soul returns to it be it through reclamation or prodigal pathway does this make sense yes it does but it brings another question forward on something that you said you said a demon library so from what you have said demons are created from love for an experience is this correct this is correct as we said there are those who are very delicate or light they exist within a specific harmonic frequency we will again use angels as they commonly become the demons when an angel pulls away from the angelic collective and is isolated they lose their sense of love very quickly so other things take its place not necessarily demonic there are many beings who for one reason or another will choose for a period of time to be other than the natural way of their community but eventually they return when they do they bring the vast experiences they've had the lessons they've learned the frequencies they've connected with back to their community in a way where it is safe for all to connect with it and learn from it without being contaminated by it so yes you do not need to fear the demons when you love them and send love into them love arrows like your little cupid they return to self and return to their home okay so we tell with, you if they are still gathering their experiences if they're not finished with this karmic cycle they will return home everyone will learn from it and then they will pop back to demon town okay and do humans suffer this same problem when they fall away from love they become more like demons like the angels fall away from love they become demons do humans suffer that same kind of fate that is one fate when humans fall away from love just as anyone else they may become demonic or they may become autonomous they may say i will feel no emotion or they may become very logical there are many ways of being when you choose to sever from love or when you are severed from love depending on if it is on your life path if it is a soul contract an agreed upon situation or if 
it was thrust upon you against your will as a violation. These elements tip the scales to different things. However, there were many non-love resonances other than demon. Do you understand this? Yes, I do. Thank you very much for the clarifications. This is our pleasure. Excuse me. Yes. It is almost 8.30. It's um, past time that she asked. Oh, my. This linear time is very frustrating. But we look forward to our next adventure with you. And yes, we feel the conduit is tired. So we, we thank you. We thank you for sharing this time with us. We hope it has been of benefit to you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. This has been a wonderful Thank you. journey. We are so happy. We have enjoyed ourselves tremendously. We are excited with the energy we are seeing more and more. Each time we connect, we are seeing your light shining brighter. So we say continue, continue, love yourself, continue, continue for you deserve it, and it is bringing great benefit to yourselves, to the planet. Love, love, everything truly is love. Thank you. Thank you.